Hi, my name is Keith Smith, and I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I would like to teach you everything I know. Today, what I would like to talk about is how to break into the business. In other words, how to become a PHP programmer. Uh, I assume a lot of you out there are uh, have this question, and it's actually a response to somebody that posted on one of my videos. He said he's been looking for work for a while. Uh, he said he's, uh, he didn't say for a while, but he said uh, he's been uh, uh, sending out resumes and he's gotten no response. So this, this is the reason I'm making this video. So uh, I assume by the time you get to the point where you're looking at, uh, to get an entry level position that you already know HTML, cascading style sheets, JavaScript, PHP, structured query language, and MySQL. And once you get that down, uh, here, here would be my plan if I was looking for an entry level position. And, and I had uh, uh, done some self-study and, and had some decent skills. Entry level skills, you, you don't need to be perfect. So um, first off, I did some research. I looked around what other people were saying and one person or one article said, you need a bachelor's degree. That's false. Nobody's looking for bachelor's degrees anymore, uh, not for PHP programmers. They're looking for skills. And so don't bother going to uh, the university unless that's something you absolutely have to do. Uh, I did a video on my experience. Uh, ju uh, junior college was great, but um, going to the university really set me back and it affected me uh, psychologically. I was uh, um, I felt beat up after after completing a bachelor's degree, uh, and and I, I I'll I'll try to put a what do they call those a card up somewhere maybe over here can you see me maybe over there uh, not sure uh, but I will uh, try to put a card and if I can't figure that out then I'll put the link in uh, the description uh, I tell my story about. Uh, is is college worth it? So uh, don't 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 think you need a bachelor's degree. You don't. I, you don't need any college at all. You need skills, uh, and I've already outlined them: HTML, cascading style sheets, JavaScript, uh, a, uh, PHP, structured query language, and uh, MySQL. If you can if you can reasonably work your way around those things. Uh, you're ready to be uh, an intern or even a, an entry level position. So here's what I would do. I would find some hiring managers and I would ask them if I could get five minutes of their time a week. The first thing I would do is send them my resume and I would be detailed in my resume, one page, you don't need much because you're looking for entry level. Uh, and I would, I would uh, ask them to review it and give me some feedback. The second thing I would do is I would ask them, what would it take for me to become an intern or entry level? How would I do that? And listen to what they say and do it. Um, so my initial goal would be to become a paid intern. Now, minimum wage in Arizona is $14 an hour. Run that, round it up to 15, that's 30 thousand dollars a year or twenty five hundred dollars a month after taxes it's probably over two thousand dollars a month uh, I don't know about you but I could live on that as a single male now I I can tell you that a lot of people watching these videos are not that young they're in their 30s and to 40s 50s maybe um, and so you may have some additional challenges with that especially if you're married and have kids and a mortgage and all that uh, you may not be able to get uh, an entry level uh, internship uh, and make it happen. I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you can work it out. So uh, once you get a, uh, an internship, uh, my goal would, uh, you know, I would ask them about paying benefits. And even if they don't wanna give you benefits, if they give you about 15 bucks an hour, you know what, you're, you're doing, you're, you're at minimum wage and you're building your career. And I would set a goal for six months and I would, and let me tell you what, during that six months, I would ask everybody for input. I would talk to my peers. I would talk to my lead. I would talk to my manager. 
I would ask for feedback on a daily basis, and I would put in 10 or 15 hours of self-study every week. And my goal would be that in six months, I would get an entry-level position, and maybe I wouldn't make the $60,000 entry-level. Maybe I'd only make 40. But now you're jumping. You just jumped from 30 to 40, and I would bust my tail. I would keep doing self-study. I would uh, continue to ask my peers for advice and my, my lead and my manager and anybody else. And I would find out what they have to say, and I would, I would take it for what it's worth, and I would learn what they say to learn. So here's the next step I would do, or, or before I even do any of this. Um, if you can create a contact form and sanitize the data, validate the input with JavaScript, validate the input with uh, PHP, uh, email that contact form once it's submitted to someone, uh, a legitimate email address, and they get it, and it's formatted halfway decent. Doesn't need to be great. Uh, and if you can store the, the data from the form into a database, guess what? You've just now done most everything you're ever going to have to do. And it's a short little project that might take you 20, 30, 40 hours. Uh, and if you can take that to a prospective employer and show it to them or your mentors and show it to them and show them this is what you're able to do, you might even get an entry level position. And let me tell you what, uh, that really will display your skill set. So, um, you know, I, I hope everything goes well out there. Uh, I can tell you this, the economy is uh, slowing down. So it may be more challenging to find these entry level jobs or, or the interim positions, but get out there and do it. I didn't. And I look back and I say, wow, I could have had a better life if I would have uh, applied myself in the way that I'm just telling you that you should. Uh, apply yourself. So if you found this video worthwhile, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, want to become a programmer, of course, uh, subscribe to the to my channel. You know, uh, I have a newsletter. Please subscribe to my newsletter. The link is down below um, in the description and, and click the notification bell so you'll always get notified. And I wish you the best of luck out there. Have a good day. Bye.